you know, view as well. Just experiment with this little driver. I found the problem with this old flyback. It's a two big uh, windings just have the, the most cable. It's got uh, three, looks like 22 or so gauge wire. So it's about three times, three times the thickness of that on those two there. That's a primary. I tried it on this one. I didn't get as much of a spark. I tried the original proper flyback primary and they're getting more of a spark. So um, M3 SCA1, I think it is. He suggested it to me to vary the, frequen uh, to vary the frequency on the 545, so it varies the frequency on the output. Put a variable resistor on that, this one here across um, the 545, it has a variable frequency on the output, and it works. I got a, not sure what value that is. It's one of the um, red, green, and blue gun color adjustments off the old. Um, Nokia Say Laura TV I scrapped a while ago, which is just too far gone. I did videos on these before in this kit I got here. So I'll just try on which one has the most uh, frequency. So I'll go turn it down, it goes a normal, turn it up. I could pretty much double or triple the frequency of the output of this. So we'll connect. As you can see. Bit of Corona. Not an arc, but still sparks, so we're getting somewhere. Disconnect. Feel for heat. Hmm, works quite well. I'm not going to adjust this, turn the frequency down. I'm not going to adjust this. Don't turn it all the way because it shorts out and that bypasses everything. Disconnect. Yep, that's the ballast. Transistors, yeah, it's warm, but not under any stress. So this is acting as a ballast, this resistor. That's why it gets so damn hot. And it can disconnect it. Turn it right up. Let's try another flyback. Okay, hopefully I didn't spike the camera. Let's see what this does. Tiniest little spark on that. There's a tiny spark there, but I need more frequency to get it to um, have a good long arc. Yeah, depends on the flyback, see, because the other flyback I used previously, um, this is an AC flyback, has no internal diodes or anything in it, so it's perfect for this sort of driver. Whereas this one, you need like a, like the ZVS drivers and all that special pulse frequency, and it has to have the, um, what do you call it? A diode that uh, needs a back EMF to feed it to get it to fill the collapse at the right time to induce enough current to give me some good output. I think I found another set of windings in this. That's the primary one, the inbuilt one. I won't try those ones because it might be too hard work on this. They're pretty uh, high current, those uh, windings there. Let's try this other one I got. I think that was one of the secondary or second primaries or whatever I was doing at the time. So I'll try that one. There's a few calls in here. Oh, I see what that does. Okay, I've still got it driving the flyback. That's better.
these old Japanese flybacks from the 80s are the best. This is out of a Panasonic TV, this one. Uh, National Quintrix, the Black Matrix type TVs, the earlier ones. Yeah, not working very hard at all, it's good. The um, flyback in this Mitsubishi made AWA rebadge. It's quite a large white uh, Mitsubishi flyback. Good quality, so any TV like this, it's got the um, the, be the best flybacks in them. And they've also got a good, uh, yeah, these ones that use the um, earthed cable, have a nice big, probably at least a 4 amp 12 volt power transformer. And it's got a secondary uh, secondary one, which is 112 volts. So you get a 110 volt and 12 volt uh, transformer. So look for these in your, in your junkyards. These, are, these older ones are the best quality components in them, particularly flybacks. This one here, the old Pi, series 85, uses this type of flyback and a multiplier setup. These are also good. Are they very delicate? You need to be very careful how you handle them. They're also um, very handy to have as you can pull the thing completely apart and wind your own on the um, ferrite core. Let's get back to this and see if it can vary that more. Alright, let's try that. Okay, let's adjust it. Yeah, see? Frequency is very critical with these flybacks. There's a lot of a lot of trial and error involved when you're playing with flybacks. It's not actually arcing, it's sparking. So I don't know what resistance value that is. It needs something. I've got to get the right uh, ver uh, variable resistor. So it takes some trial and error to find exactly what value I need to get the the ultimate best frequency to drive that. So for now, thanks for watching.